Guys, right, so how's it going? Welcome to my video. We're gonna be talking about uh, TPMS light, which is the tire light. And if you guys have TPMS sensors on your car, which exist on pretty much uh, most modern day cars, you guys wanna know how to fix it and to take that light off your dash because to a lot of people, it's an annoying thing. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys um, why that light is on and how you guys could fix it um, pretty uh, easy. So basically that TPMS sensor, all right, um, all your tires, including your spare tire, if you guys have the TPMS sensors, essentially exist on all your tires, including the spare tire. Now, the TPMS sensor exists to tell you what the pressure is on your tire. Now, as long as it stays above a certain range as far as what your supposed tire pressure is uh, that's set by, uh, by the car company or by whatever the tire is for your vehicle, um, that TPMS sensor should be off all the time. Now, if it's on, it pretty much means a couple of things. It means that your tire is either underfilled, most of the time it's underfilled, or you have a nail in your tire and, and it's leaking and it goes below the specified range. And normally, if your PSI on your tire is like around 31, 32, 33, <clears throat> depending on what car you have, it could be it could be around 80 if you're driving a van or whatever, it, 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 it ranges depending on what vehicle you have. But uh, in these situations, there's a certain range that the TPMS uh, sensor um, uh, will stay off as long as it's within a certain range, all right? Now, if it goes below a certain range, uh, for example, if you have, a lot of times if you have a nail in your tire and your tire is leaking air, it's going to go uh, below that range and then it's going to trigger your TPMS sensor because it's below a certain range. And it does that just to warn you that, that one of your tires or two of your tires or how many tires you have have issues and you need to fill it up with air or you need to get the tire fixed or you know those kind of situations. All right, That's one situation why your TPMS light is on. The second situation why your TPMS light is on is because um, if you have an older vehicle, probably like 10 years old, and you've never changed out the TPMS sensor, there's a small little battery inside a TPMS sensor. Uh, essentially, that battery is good for about a range of 10 years. All right, that, that, that battery uh, dies out probably within the range of 10 years. Uh, sometimes the weather conditions, such as the cold, uh, can affect um, the, the the battery but if you have a weak battery the cold will make it weaker and sometimes you get a TP, TPMS light on in colder weathers in colder weather instead of um, in, <clears throat> especially if your TPMS uh, battery is weak other times your tire pressure the PSI and your tire pressure could uh, uh, change ranges uh, if if it gets colder out or if it's one or, or it's warmer out if you guys actually have an LCD screen or you guys have access uh, to the uh, TPMS PSI pressure of each tire on your dash a lot of times if you guys have a TPMS sensor you guys will be able to see what your tire pressure is um, you guys will notice that TPMS pressure uh, will change depending on what the temperature is. Like if it's colder in the morning, that pressure, that TPMS um, P PSI pressure will either go up or down depending on how hot or how cold it is outside. It does really have an effect on the TPMS <clears throat> um, uh, readings. However, you guys want to know how you guys can get that light off your dash. I'm going to tell you guys how you guys can get that light off your dash, all right? So basically, you guys want to know like which 
tire has the issue which tire tires have the issue which tire tires have a lower PSI than the range that's specified for your car it might be because of weather conditions most of the time it's because there's not enough air in tire uh, most of the time it's because there's a you know you hit a nail or whatever and it's leaking out air so you're gonna have to either get the tire fixed a or B uh, fill up fill up your your tire just a little bit more because it's probably low on air okay that's a that's a pretty simple fix <clears throat> now that's pretty much what you need to do all right essentially once you get that done your TPMS light will go off by itself after you drive maybe like you know sometimes it'll go off on itself once you get the PSI pressure to, to up to a certain range other times you might have to drive it a little bit and then the tire pressure and then the TPMS resets itself it'll clear itself <clears throat> now if you guys get into this situation where where you guys get it up to a certain range or your tires don't have any kind of issues as far as whether PSI range is the pressure on the tire is good on all your tires there's a good chance that the TPMS sensor needs to be changed out all right the TPMS change uh, uh, the TPMS sensor needs to be changed out um, <clears throat> it's a rare occasion that people will change the battery out most of the time it's it's easier to go out and go to a tire place and have them swap out the TPMS sensor itself it costs anywhere from actually just changing out the TPMS um, sensor just changing out the TPMS sensor really isn't expensive isn't it's not an expensive thing it'll probably cost you around twenty dollars to change up the TPMS sensor the the expensive part is actually to reprogram your car's computer to read the new sensor now it's expensive if you go to it's expensive if you go to the dealership they'll charge you like maybe like a hundred or two hundred dollars per sensor which is a ripoff uh, you know if you go to a used tire place it could be a lot, a lot less expensive um, however if you do it yourself uh, I think outside of Toyota um, all the other vehicles outside of Toyota or a couple other vehicles outside of Toyota and a couple other vehicles um, you can probably do it yourself if you have a, a TPMS uh, sensor device which I've done reviews on but as far as Toyota is concerned, um, sometimes for certain models like Toyota, as far as I know, Toyota, I'm not quite sure about the Benzes and the, and the BMWs, but you might have to have a specific um, uh, TPMS tool where you connect to the OBD2 port and then you have to use a computer to reset it and download some software to use computer to reset it. Um, that that is that is um, a, a bit of uh, a, a little bit of a, a complicated matter but for the most part if you have any other makes uh, it, it's it's pretty simple uh, if, if you have a TPMS tool but that's pretty much all you guys need to know as far as TPMS is concerned um, you can't take the tire pressure light off your dash by just disconnecting the the um, the the car's battery or, or or the or the power source. The reason being is that the it, it, it's the the car's computer. Your car's computer is constantly picking up the uh, tire pressure of the battery. It's connected through um, some kind of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or some kind of frequency. Um, as long as 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 soon as you turn on your car, it's gonna send out a reading and it's constantly reading the TPMS sensor it's always on it's always that TPMS sensor is constantly putting out a reading on tire pressure so you can't actually clear the uh, the TPMS uh, that way by by resetting it by by taking the, uh, the 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 cables off the battery without fixing the problem that's causing it in the first place but if you guys have any questions about this um, definitely leave a, a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Hope this has helped you guys out. All right, guys. Take care.